Hi guys, it's Rindy. I am here today with my Avengers Panning War update number one. And this is a collab that I am doing with the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. There is a whole bunch of different people. Um, there is a playlist that's created and I will see if I can figure out how to link it. You know, I'm kind of new to this, so we'll see if it works. But let's get into my progress on things. So the first three things I'm going to do were things I couldn't really figure out how to measure because it's, you know, opaque containers and stuff I couldn't really mark. So what I did was grabbed a kitchen scale and weighed them to document my progress. So my first thing, the Amari deodorant by Avon, when I started was at 3.2 ounces and as of today, it's at 2.5 ounces. So that is some good progress. My mascara, my Great Lashes Maybelline mascara was at 1.0 ounces and now it's at 0.9. This one is starting to get dry. I'm still trying to push it a little bit, but we'll see if it's still around by the end of next month or if I've ditched it to start trying the Lash Paradise that I bought to replace it because I'm a little excited to try that one from all the hype. Then the last one that I couldn't really, I stood this up, I couldn't get it to show anything. So I decided to weigh this one and it was 0.4 ounces last month. It's still 0.4 ounces today, but I have been using it. And when I swirl this around, you can actually see that it shows some progress inside. So it's not completely full, but it's not showing progress on a weight yet, which is understandable because you don't use that much when you put on the lipstick. And I don't have to reapply because that's a liquid lipstick. And that's the reason I own those, so many of those because I don't have to reapply the entire day. So next, while I have my notebook sitting in front of me, we will go with my li wi Winky Lux Brow okay, Pencil. No, I started... Okay, no. Up okay, here, no. and now I'm down there. It's just a little bit of progress. Okay. And I need to open a Play-Doh. I'll be back in a second. Then, all right. Then my next thing was my, Ribble, my Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Liner. And I started up here. That was my start. And here's my first month progress. That's a little bit. On both of these, like, I have fairly full brows. So I don't need to fill fill in my brows much. I just darken them in so that they look uniform instead of like I'm not really making brows on my face. They, they're they there. My, my brows didn't suffer from the 90s because I wasn't into makeup back then. So as far as the eyeliner goes, I did pretty well. I'd say I used half of what was left. So I think maybe in another month, maybe month and a half, I will have that one finished completely. So speaking of finished completely, I had put in this Adidas perfume and there was just a teeny tiny bit left and it was at that line and now you can see it's completely gone. I took this along on Thanksgiving and I didn't bring anything else so that I would use this. So it got used up over my four day Thanksgiving vacation when I visited my family and I am happy to see it gone. That was my high school scent and there was just that little bit lingering on that I used to keep in my car forever ago. Then another thing that is gone is my little sample of the Avon Chocolate Rose Lipstick. I tried, let's see if I can get it to, I tried to dig it out and I got it dug out a little bit a few times and I could not get it to go on without being streaky and patchy so I gave up on digging it out and I'll just have to buy a full size if I want to have the color again. Okay, so, so, now another one to open? All right, then another um, body spray. The other body spray I had was this body, bath, body, etc. Moisturizing purely pear body spray. And it was up here at this line when I started. And now it's down here. I call this maybe another week or two. I'm sure it will be gone by the next update in January. My, what's next? How about the red blush? This one... I can't really say I see a lot of progress. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to screenshot my last video and insert side-by-sides here. But this is what this one looks like. And I feel like, like you can see the edge of the pan down here a little bit. 
but it's not really like making a, dip, a, a dip or a dent or anything in it yet. You know, I had repressed this after the kids had dug in it a while back, and that's part of why I wanted to try and use this one because it's gotten repressed. It's not what it used to be. So hopefully I will keep showing progress. I'm wearing it today. I really like it. It's a nice little rosy red cheek thing, and with it being winter and cold outside, I kind of like the whole, you know, rosy, cold, flush cheeks thing. So another red item was my Avon Naturals body. Another one was my Avon Naturals body wash. It's pomegranate mango. I don't think I said that last time. And it is a refreshing shower gel. And I started, it was brand new. It was up to here. And now it is down about halfway, right to there. And I figure this will take me probably another month. Um, I didn't have it with me on Thanksgiving because I have all the things I need at my parents' house for when I visit. So we didn't have to take along that kind of stuff. So that one went about a week without getting used while we were there visiting. So the next thing, let's see, the next thing was my silver. I still, I think it's Clinique. It doesn't, there, there's what my label looks like. So I think it's Clinique has a fairly good dip in it. If we can get it to focus. I'm debating on taking it out of this silly little compact thing. Maybe it won't be so reflective, but there you can really see the dip on that one. It's got a good dip here in the middle. I've been using this as a highlight. I've been using this as an all over um, base on my eyes to, before I start using other shadows. And I use it as a brown one highlight almost every day. So that's been getting some decent use. Then let's go with this Clinique uh, Chestnut. It's Chestnut Blush. This one's another one. I can barely read it. And this one I've been using every day as a bronzer. And it's like, it's a, it's a pinky, not really pinky, but it's tan, but it's pink, but it's not really a blush, not really a bronzer. And I like it that way because it works really well on my skin tone for somebody who doesn't really know what they're doing with bronzer. So it gives me a good chance to practice without looking like a complete fool when I go out in public. So this one has a good dip here, right in this area. You can kind of see it coming through. So I will continue to make progress on this. I figure, you know, if I decide I don't want to use that red blush again, I'll use this one because this one was one of my favorite blushes for a long time. And then I kind of got out of it because I started liking more pinker blushes. So that's why the red one works well. Then let's get in to this Revlon Moonlit Jewels Illuminating Cream Shadow Compact. And each, each one of these was a different character for the Avengers. And I did really good. The tan was still all around and that one is used fairly well. The blue, you can see, has pan. The green has pan. And the red is getting a decent dip in it and I kind of been making like a grungy red eye and uh, putting a darker lipstick with my red lip and doing like a red grunge look. I've kind of been enjoying that for the fall. So that one is getting some good use and as Christmas rolls around and I start doing more red that should get more use yet as well. So then my last four items were these shadows in my handy dandy unsponsored Avon container. And this blue is the least, has the least progress. You can see it's kind of got a dip, but obviously blue is, this one's, you know, fairly pigmented, but I don't need a lot of this shadow, this particular shadow to set the blue in that cream compact and have it be pigmented because that is a pigmented. Then this red one I put in here and it is getting a div in the corner here. And I've actually been enjoying this as a crease shade when I do it with the, when I do the green um, cream, I'll use the green cream and I'll set it with either one of these silvers that is next and use this in the crease or as a transition shade. And I've really been liking that as holidays are rolling in. And so if we can get it to work, let's see. You can see lots of side pan there on that corner up here. 
and that one's doing very well. I think I'll hit pan on that. Then this one has a significant amount of pan. Yes, it's shimmery. However, I use it in my crease, and I really like it in my crease. And because I have deep set eyes, you can't really tell that there's glitter there, but it gives them that dimension so that I can make my eyelids pop with my deep set eyes so that it looks like they're not sunk into my head all the way. So this one has significant amount of pan. This one's been my go-to crease shade for my red uh, grungy looks and that kind of thing. And I've really enjoyed that in my crease, even though it's shimmery. Then this one, you made a carrot. Look at that carrot. That's a cool carrot. Then final one, as I'm getting bombarded, is this one. And this guy, I actually hit pan on today. I put the green shadow down and set it with the silver. And I really liked how that looked. <laughs> so that is all of my 20 items. I am down by two, so I have 18 left to go in five months. So I am going to go play Play-Doh. And I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll subscribe to see my progress next month and in the subsequent months. Um, I'm coming up with other ideas for projects and I hope you'll stay tuned and find out what they are. In the, in the meantime, I will talk to y'all later.